Hi guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be playing around with the Be Perfect Carnival Love Tahiti palette. So this is the third palette. So I do want to do a review on this palette today. So I have done a first impressions video up already on my channel and I have done a couple looks just on Instagram and in my own time playing around with this palette. And I did just want to do a video giving you guys my final thoughts on it and talk to you guys about a few things that I liked and disliked about this palette. So if you're unfamiliar with this palette, it looks like this. It is a very, very gorgeous palette. It's a very big rainbow palette and I absolutely love it. I also love the fact that it comes with a mirror. That is amazing. And this palette honestly is huge and super colorful. So I do just want to play with it today and just give you guys my final opinion on it and my review on it Also, I want to test out a couple of other products that I got so I did get a clean lash box from the brand Queen Lash. So this is a subscription box for lashes. They sent this over to me and they asked me if I would be okay with doing a review video. So I do want to play with these lashes today and let you guys know what I think of them. I got four different styles. So I got March Queen, Pretty Queen, Green Queen, and Clover Queen. So I think that's amazing. So just a couple pieces of information about this box. It is a lash subscription. They sent me a card that said, thank you so much for reviewing our queen lash box in advance. Some facts about our box. It's a monthly lash subscription box with a free makeup gift every month for $19.99 and they gave me a $5 code that I can put in my description box for you guys. And it's risk-free, you can skip or you can cancel at any time. So it is a lash subscription box, so I think that's really cool. Does look like lashes that I would personally have chosen just on my own, so I think that's really amazing that they sent these to me. I am very grateful for that and I'm very, very, very excited to play with these and try them because they are absolutely stunning. I'm very excited. The packaging is also amazing. I love this reflective packaging. It looks amazing, I'm just so excited. So I want to play with that today and I will leave all of the information for a Queen Lash in the subscription box down below. So if you guys are interested in any of my codes or want any discounts for some things that I might have codes for, check out my description box down below. You will also find all of my social medias. So my Instagram, my Twitter, my coffee Instagram, and all of the other social medias like TikTok and Pinterest and stuff. So <laughs> let's just jump on into this video. All right, so I have you guys zoomed in a little bit and we can get started. So the first thing that I always do when I am doing eyeshadow is I prime my eyes using the Dose of Colors concealer and this is the shade Fair 03. So I will be doing a video probably today or tomorrow talking about the overtone green color that clearly didn't stay in my hair. So if you guys are interested in my review on the extreme green overtone and how well it lasted in my blonde hair, that video will be coming up soon. And just a spoiler alert, obviously my hair faded quite drastically and I'm very disappointed. So spoiler alert, but that video will be coming up soon. I'm just needing to get ready. <laughs> So I'm really excited to play with this palette again and create a look. So the last look that I did using this palette, I did kind of like a tropical look, which is probably something going to be similar to what I do now, just because I didn't film that video and I should have because it was so stunning and that makeup look was so gorgeous and I don't know why I didn't film, but we're just going to play with some colors and maybe recreate something similar. So I'm gonna go in with a Luxie brush. So this is just a tapered blending brush and I want to go into the color. What color do I wanna go into? Hmm, I think I'm gonna go in with a smaller tapered blending brush and I think I'm gonna go into the color Lagoon and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. So that is this kind of sky blue color. I'm just gonna put that on my outer corner and sweep that up. I haven't played with eyeshadow in probably about a week, week and a half or so, so bear with me. I don't know what I wanna do today. But I'm just feeling creative. I wanna play with some color and I am kind of bored. It is really rainy here today and definitely just need a creative outlook. So I'm just going to go in with a blending brush with nothing on it and just diffuse that color a little bit. So it's really warm in here, so I don't know how well these eyeshadows are actually going to work today just because I can't open my window because it's going to be way too loud because it's windy and rainy today. But the shadows tend to be a little bit patchy on my skin when it's really warm. So that is something that I'm noticing with that blue here. It is kind of being a little bit patchy but my studio is really warm, so there's nothing I can really do about that. So I'm gonna go in with the Tropics Green color, and I'm just going to blend that into that deeper blue. 
There is one thing that I would like to point out about this palette is I do think that it looks a lot more pigmented in the pans and it actually does show up on my eye. I find that it's not as pigmented as I was hoping it was going to be. I watched a lot of reviews of people using this palette. Well, I guess not reviews. I watched a lot of demos of people using this palette on Instagram and reels and shorts and stuff and it looked a hell of a lot more pigmented than what I'm actually achieving with using this palette. So I would say either people have their saturation on their videos turned up really high and it's not giving the true colors of what you're actually going to be getting, or I don't know, maybe I just didn't get as vibrant of shades as other people have. But I do think that I was expecting a little bit more vibrancy than what I'm actually achieving. So that is one of the cons I have with this palette so far. I might by the Be Perfect, I think it might be the two or the one. There's another palette that's like a rainbow one and I might buy that. My friend Laura here on YouTube, Laura Christina, she said that the other one is a lot better and she doesn't really pick up this one that often. So I might pay the extra cost and order another one of these. These palettes are really expensive. So that is kind of why I'm a little bummed that this palette didn't work as amazing as I was hoping it was going to just because they are very, very expensive and <sighs> the shipping plus the duties and all of that to Canada is such a pain in the ass. So now I'm gonna go in with the NYX Glitter Primer. So I'm just gonna take a little bit onto my finger and I'm going to take a flat brush. Find one that isn't covered in glitter glue already. And I'm just gonna put that into my inner corner and sweep it onto my lid because I wanna go in with a brighter green. And I'm bringing it up into my crease just so that I can lay some of the shimmer up there. Shimmer green that's in this palette, so that's called Tahiti Green. And I'm just going to lay that in my inner corner and bring it up into my crease. Now I'm gonna go back into my blending brush and I'm gonna go back into that Tropics Green and just blend it together a little bit. I wish there was a really, really bright shimmer blue in this palette, but there really isn't. So I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of the pearl color, which is that pretty pink kind of champagne color, and a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of just Lagoon and see what that creates, if that's gonna create anything at all. It kind of created kind of like um, a silver color almost. Not really what I was expecting, but Still turned out really pretty. So now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of that Tropics color and just pack it on and blend into that shimmer green a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with a tapered brush from Luxe. So this is my mini angled brush. And I'm gonna go back into Lagoon and I'm gonna mix a little bit of the deep into it just to make the outer corner just a little bit deeper. Blend it into that Tropics color. I'm gonna take a little bit of Tropics on the same brush and just blend those colors together. All right, so I'm going to attempt to put some lashes on on camera. I'm really bad at it, so bear with me. But these lashes are the Queen Lash Box, so this is the March one. So I think I'm gonna go with the Pretty Queen lashes today because they're really cute. So those are the ones that I'm going to do. So they look like this. If my camera will focus on them, they look like this. They are stunning, and I'm hoping that they uh, work with me today. So this eye, it's way better than this eye. I don't know why, it's just how it is. This eyeliner looks really good. I love the shape of this one and this one's kind of kind of wonky. <sighs> I can never do the same eyeliner on both eyes, so it's just what it is. We're just gonna have to live with that with the rest of my life because I'm probably never gonna figure it out. So let's try to put these lashes on without completely screwing them up. So they are really big, so I'm going to trim them and then we can put them on properly. So let me find my scissors. So one thing that I hate about getting new eyelashes is having to trim them to the right size of your eye. <laughs> I always get so nervous when I have to cut anything, like with wigs and trimming eyelashes and all that stuff, I always get terrified that I'm going to screw it up because I have, okay, that is perfect. I didn't screw it up. Oh my God, hallelujah. So I'm going to quickly throw these on. So I am going to be using the Duo Lash Glue. This is the lash glue that I use all the time. It is the black one, so the glue actually is like a dark blue color, but it sets to black, and that's just what I prefer because I usually use black eyeliner. And if I make a mistake or the glue smudges at all, it's fine <laughs> because my eyeliner is already black. So I like 
this glue. It works really well. It does irritate my eyes a little bit, so I can't wear false eyelashes for it that long. I tend to have to take them off probably about a couple hours max after using them, unless I'm doing an event or something, which I'm not. I take my eyelashes off usually when I'm done filming because it irritates my eyes, and I think that's a common thing with most people, so the lash glue, it irritates the shit out of my eyes, and I don't know why. <laughs> but I have very sensitive skin, very sensitive eyes, and all that, so. Just waiting for this to dry and then we can put this baby on. I just kind of throw them on and hope for the best and try to get my natural lashes to line up with the false lashes as best as I can. And then if it's not lining up completely, I will go in with a little bit of mascara once the lashes are already on just to camouflage them a little bit more. But I really don't like wearing mascara that often, so I try not to do that just because I'm not into mascara, I don't know. I don't really like having stuff on my eyelashes besides like false lashes, if that makes sense. I'm fine with having mascara on the bottom lashes, but I'm not a big fan of having them on the top. So these ones are really long. So these are very exaggerated lashes. They kind of go like a little bit shorter and then really wispy at the end. And I think that's really cute. I think these are really fun. These are definitely more of a glamorous style lash rather than like an everyday. I don't know if I would wear this particular style every day just because it uh, is pretty glam and I don't usually wear glam when I'm not doing videos, but I do think that they're really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other ones on and then I'm gonna finish up my makeup. So I'm gonna do my foundation, my concealer, my bronzer, my blush, all of that off of camera, just because you guys have already seen me do it a million times. You don't need to see me do it again. And then I will come back on here, finish up the under eyes with you guys and give you guys my final thoughts on the lashes and the palette. Okay, so I am back after doing my full face makeup. I have my other lash on and I do think the lashes look absolutely stunning. I am in love with this style. I think they are very, very pretty and I really like the subscription so far. I <laughs> highly recommend these lashes. These lashes are amazing. They look great, they feel great, they don't bother my eyes at all. They're not too large either where I'm noticing them on and honestly, I just really like these lashes. They are so pretty. So the lash applicator that I was using is from the brand Urban Pop Lashes. So that is the other kit of lashes that I usually promote and usually use. With the panorama and everything that happened in the world, they closed down for the time being, so I do believe they will be coming back, but I haven't heard much about their brand and I haven't been able to order any new lashes, so I haven't gotten any new Urban Pop lashes and I don't have any more currently. So I was really excited when Queen Lash reached out and asked me if I could review their lashes because I was like, yes, I need lashes. <laughs> so this is the finished look so far, so now we can do the under eyes. So I wanna go in and I want to do some purple-ish pink on the under eye area. So I'm gonna go in with the coral color, which is literally called coral, and I'm going to sweep that underneath my waterline area, starting on this outer corner, and I'm gonna sweep it into a kind of fuchsia color. So I'm gonna go with this coral pink color and blend it out. And then I wanna go into kind of a pinky purple color, which is like a fuchsia. I'm gonna go into pink lily, and I'm going to put that right close to my waterline. I might go in with a pointer brush. So this is the Moda Detail brush, and I'm just going to go right up close to my waterline area and sweep this purple fuchsia color in there. Touch my eyeball. That was a very weird feeling. I did not like that. Those two colors mixed together, stunning. Wow, this is so pretty. Oh my God, I touched my eyeball. And now there is I shadow on my eyeball and that is the worst feeling ever. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna repeat it on the other side. All right, the under eyes are done. That is vibrant, that is beautiful. I love that. Now I just need to do an inner corner color. So I'm gonna go in with a Luxie pencil brush. So I don't think I've ever used this brush. Oh, I have, there is highlighter all over it. That is lovely. So actually, I think I'm gonna do a highlighter. So I think I'm gonna go into the Moon Cruiser from Kaleidoscope. So it is this white blue kind of reflect highlighter. It is absolutely stunning. It's my absolute favorite highlighter in my collection currently. And I'm just going to put that on the inner corner. Oh, it reflects this blue kind of pink purple shift. And oh my God, it is so pretty. I want all of Kaleidoscope's 
Kaleidoscope, is that what it's called? Kaleidos, I would say Kaleidoscope for some reason. I want all of Kaleidos makeup because their makeup is so great and they're an indie brand and I fucking love them, oh my God. With my whole heart. All right, so now I'm gonna put this on the brow bone area for once. I didn't forget to do this. I'm notoriously bad for it, never putting highlight on my brow bone area on camera and then realizing in the middle of editing that I'm like, why don't I have highlighter on? And I come in here and I do it off camera. But, I, oh, look at that color. <gasps> that is so pretty. Oh, I'm obsessed. If I could put highlighter, I mean, I could, but if I could put highlighter all over my freaking face, I probably would. This is so pretty. Oh my God, I love that. I fucking love this. So this eye look actually turned out really pretty. I'm very, very excited for that. It was just kind of a, I didn't really know what the hell I was doing and I just kind of played with makeup and it worked for once. It actually worked. The blend isn't too bad. The bright green shimmer color worked out really great. And oh my God, I love the freaking pink on my under eyes right now. Oh my God, that's so pretty. So I'm gonna go in with a eyeliner. So I'm gonna go in with a, what color do I wanna do? Do I wanna try green? Let's try green and if it doesn't show up, I'll go in with a purple. So I'm gonna go in with a lime green. So this is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Electric Daisy. So let's see if this shows up. Oh my God, it did, it looks like a watermelon. I love it, I fucking love it. That is so pretty. So I have the eyeliner collection from ColourPop, their vault. So I have their rainbow collection. So if you guys have any other recommendations for really good eyeliners that are really colorful like this that aren't just ColourPop, please let me know in the comments down below because I am on the hunt to build my eyeliner collection just because I want more colors. And I don't find that these are as bright as I want them to be. So it could just be because it's mixed in with other colors right now because there is that pink on my under eye area. But I wish it was a little bit more intense. So if you guys know of other colors on the market, that are really, really intense and really fun and really easy to use, please let me know because I'm always on the hunt for different eyeliners. So now I can throw on a little bit of mascara. So I usually just put mascara on my bottom lashes. I did put a tiniest amount on my top lashes just to blend in my blonde lashes to the black fake eyelashes, but I didn't put a whole lot just because I'm not a big fan of mascara. I don't know. I don't know what it is. When I was younger, I used to wear mascara constantly. I didn't wear anything else. I only wore mascara. And now that I do makeup on YouTube with you guys, I literally never wear mascara. I could not be bothered. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So of course, the one day that I wanted to film and do a makeup look, I have a breakout right there and right there. So please, and right there actually. So please ignore it. My skin has actually been so freaking clear lately. And then the one day that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna film, I'm gonna do a video. <laughs> no, no, my skin is like, fuck you. Absolutely not. So I'm going to set my face with the Iconic London setting spray. So this is the Prep, Set, and Glow. I really like this stuff. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent of it. It kind of reminds me of like old lady perfume, but I use it because I got it in a BoxyCharm and I'm halfway through it and I just love the color of it. When you shake it up and all of the shimmer, oh, it's pretty. I honestly, the scent of it is kind of growing on me. It's not that bad, but it's not my absolute favorite. But I do like the shimmer that it leaves on your skin. It makes your skin look really glowy, really, really, really hydrated and really nice. So I like this stuff. So this was my finished look. So I used the Pure Elise CC BB Cream, BB Cream CC Cream. This is the foundation I use in every single video. It is my absolute holy grail. I love this stuff. And if you can't tell how much I love it, I love it. I love it. I even have a mini of it. So I love this stuff so much. So Pure Elise, if you're watching this, I love your guys' BB cream foundation. It's so good. It makes my skin look so nice. It just, honestly, it's so great. So I love this stuff. This is what I used. I used my NYX Contour and Sculpting Palette. This is the palette that I have been using for seven or eight years now because they are refillable. I really like the fact that you can just pop these out and refill them whenever they run out. That is really great and I just dropped it and my life is a mess. But I really like the fact that you can pop those out and just refill it and you don't have to keep rebuying the package. So I've had this thing forever. As you can tell, it's cracked and dirty and broken, but I've had it literally for like 
six or seven years now. So that's really great. That's what I've been using. And then the blush that I used is from the brand Note. So this is the Desert Rose blush. It is my absolute favorite color. I love blushes like this and this is just a really, really pretty blush. I have not done a lip product yet. And then obviously you guys know my highlighter that I used is the Moon Cruiser from Kaleidos Makeup. Looks like this again. And then I do believe I have something mixed into it. I don't know if I have it out. It was something that was left on my brush. It is a single shadow from the brand Nomad Cosmetics. It is part of their Northern Lights collection. It's just a really pretty pink shimmer. I had that mixed onto my brush when I was doing my highlights. So as you can see, there is a little bit of pink residue on it and it gave me such a really pretty pink, subtle highlight color and I love that. But let's just dive into my review on the palette. So I do think this palette is really great. I do think that this palette works really well. I do have a couple issues with it. I do think that the colors look a lot more pigmented in the pan than they actually show up on the eye. I don't know if that's just the palette that I got or if it's the way that I'm applying these shadows, but I do find that they are a little bit harder to use. You do have to build up the color quite significantly to get a really intense eyeshadow look. And I go for really, really colorful looks, as you guys can tell. So I find that it's kind of a pain in the ass to use because you have to constantly build up the color. But other than that, the colors are stunning. They are so beautiful. I love the different shades that you get. I love this coral pink that we use today here. It is so stunning. The reef color, which is this teal color, I've used three times now. And honestly, it's not my favorite. It is a really, really gorgeous color and it looks stunning in the pan. It is so pretty, but it just doesn't perform on my eyes that well like I wish it was more pigmented you can tell just from the swatch on my hand that it's really just not that pigmented and I wish it had like 20% more pigmentation and it would probably be perfect but I would say that it worked really well as you guys can see there is a little bit of patchiness but I think that is my skin in my studio because my studio is really warm I don't really think that has anything to do with the palette I think that's just my room right now it's just hot and eyeshadows don't like to work on my skin when I'm really warm for some reason so I would say that this palette works really well it is very expensive so I will post the retail price on the screen here for you guys it's about 58 Canadian something like that plus shipping plus duties if you're in Canada. So at the end of the day, I think I paid about $80 for this palette and that is a very expensive. I don't usually buy high-end makeup like this and I don't usually spend that kind of money on eyeshadows just because I can't afford to do that and I don't think eyeshadows should ever be that expensive. That is why in my auntie hauls, I'm always harping on like Pat McGrath and like those kind of brands because I just don't think crushed rocks should be that expensive. It's ridiculous. You're paying for a name and I think it's a little bit ridiculous. So that's why I don't really tend to go for eyeshadow palettes that are this expensive. However, the reason that I went with this one was because I kept seeing it on Instagram and I kept seeing the pigmentation people were getting, which is kind of why I'm disappointed. And I kept seeing looks with this brand and this brand looked amazing. So I wanted to try it. Also, the packaging is so stunning and I love the fact that the shade names are also on the back. So this is a collab with Stacey Marie. I don't actually know who she is. So I can't really tell you guys anything about their collaboration or anything, but I do think that this palette is really stunning. I think they did a really good job. I just wish it was a little bit more pigmented so that I could get more intense eyeshadow looks and not have to turn up the saturation when I'm editing. <laughs> but as you can see, without turning up saturation with no filter, it does look really pretty. It's just not as boom color as I'm seeing like on Instagram. So there is a few cons I would say with this palette, but I do think it is really pretty. I do think that the packaging is stunning. I do like the color selection and I do think that it worked fairly well. If you're newer into makeup, you might have a little bit of issues with it. You might have a little bit of trouble with it just because it's not the most user-friendly palette that I've ever used. So I would say that I'm really excited to continue using this palette and continue playing around with it and trying to get a better feel of it and trying to make it as pigmented as absolutely possible. So this palette contains 31 vibrant matte shades, four duo shipped pressed pigments, three metallics, and two high pigment shimmers. I would say all in all, this palette worked really well. I do think this palette is really stunning and I do recommend it. I just think that you will have to be patient with it because it doesn't work the same as some of the other shadows that I have used in my collection. But all in all, I think it's a really nice palette. So the lashes, I definitely recommend. So I will post them in my description box down below, all of the details so you guys can buy them, sign up for the subscription box if you are interested. I'm obviously giving you guys my personal opinion. My review, if I get sent something, is never altered. I don't give you guys a positive review just because somebody sends me something. My reviews are always honest, and honestly, I like the lashes. They look really pretty. They look really stunning. The quality is really nice, and 
I'm really grateful that they sent these to me. So I highly recommend you guys check this brand out, the Queen Lash Box at thequeenlash.com. I'll post all the information down below so you guys can go check them out. And they also sent me a free gift with my lashes, which is watermelon lip chap, which is really cute. So it looks like this. So it is a lip butter and it is watermelon. So, oh, that smells amazing. Do you guys remember when we were kids, they were like little lip chaps and they were like all of these fun fruity flavors and there was a watermelon one, which was my absolute favorite. That's exactly what this smells like, oh my God. I love that. It tastes like it too. Oh my God. My new favorite lip chap right there. So I'm just going to quickly throw on a gloss and then I will exit out this video. So this is the Glazed AOA Studios lip gloss. It just has some shimmer in it and I think it's really pretty. And this is the finished look. So zoom you guys out a little bit. So this is the finished look after I have zoomed out. So I know this was a very chatty video and I just wanted to come on here and hang out with you guys and it's very miserable outside. So I was bored, didn't have anything else to do. So I was like, well, let's do a review. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this. Don't forget to like this video because I am having issues lately with my likes not sticking. So please help me out, boost my videos in the the algorithm, get more people seeing my content so that we can get more people joining our lovely Twisted Glam fam on here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye.